compare the numbers and rank them. This video contains the following sections. Reading the problem carefully and understanding it. Developing a plan to solve it. Solving the problem. Thinking about it further and try to apply the approach to other problems. Near the end of the video, there's an additional question which can be solved using a similar approach to that used for solving the specific problem. If you find these helpful, please subscribe to the channel for notification of new videos by pressing the video watermark in the right hand corner of the video player. The bases are 333, 444, 555, respectively. Indices are 555, 444, 333, respectively. The bases are different and the indices are different. This means it's not easy to compare numbers directly. Focus on the indices 555, 444, 333. We have a common factor 111. Each number can be written as a new base with the index 111, for example, 333 to the power of 555 equals 333 to the power of 5 all to the power of 111. Similarly, the bases have a common factor 111, so each base can be written as the product of a number and 111. For example, 555 equals 5 times 111. We'll use the power rule and the product rule for exponents. The three numbers are 333 to the power of 555, 444 to the power of 444, 555 to the power of 333. The numbers have different indices. However, the indices have a common factor of 111. So we can write 333 to the power of 5 times 111. Similarly, we can write 444 to the power of 4 times 111. And 555 to the power of 3 times 111. Power rule says a to the power of mn is equal to a to the power of m or to the power of m. So we can write 333 to the power of 5 or to the power of 111, 444 to the power of 4 or to the power of 111, 555 to the power of 3 or to the power of 111. Now, the numbers have the same indices. So to compare the original set of numbers is equivalent to comparing the basis of the new set of the numbers. The indices of these numbers 
are different, and there is no common factor between the indices. However, the basis of a common factor of 111. So we can write three times 111 all to the power of five, four times 111 all to the power of four, five times 111 all to the power of three. The product rule says a times b all to the power of m equals a to the power of m times b to the power of m. So we can write 3 to the power of 5 times 111 to the power of 5. Similarly, we can write 4 to the power of 4 times 111 to the power of 4. And 5 to the power of 3 times 111 to the power of 3. We can see that there's a common factor of 111 to the power of 3. We can write the first number as 3 to the power of 5 times 111 to the power of 2 times 111 to the power of 3. We write the second number as 4 to the power of 4 times 111 times 111 cubed. So now we can compare the numbers by comparing 3 to the power of 5 times 111 squared and 4 to the power of 4 times 111 and 5 cubed. 3 to the power of 5 times 111 squared equals 243 times 111 squared. 4 to the power of 4 times 111 equals 256 times 111. 5 cubed equals 125. You can see that 125 is the smallest of the three numbers. Now we have to compare the first two numbers, which have a common factor of 111. So we can write the first number as 243 times 111 times 111. So comparing the two numbers is equivalent to comparing 243 times 111 and 256. Clearly, 243 times 111 is greater than 256. So 3 to the power of 5 times 111 squared is greater than 4 to the power of 4 times 111, which is greater than 125. So 333 to the power of 555 is greater than 444 to the power of 444 is greater than 555 to the power of 333. Think about the thought process of the previous question further and try to apply the approach to other problems, such as this one. Compare the numbers and rank them. You can write your answers in the comments section if you like. 
Can you think of other problems that can be solved using a similar approach? Thank you for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. See you next time.